In the Arctic, Sky News filmed plastic floating in front of a glacier. In the Antarctic, we were with scientists as they filtered it from seawater thousands of miles from the nearest city. But 99% of ocean plastic is beyond the reach of our cameras in the deep sea. And scientists have now found the highest level of microplastics ever recorded. 1.9 million pieces, some smaller than a millimetre, covering one square metre of the seabed off the west coast of Italy. The results were quite shocking to us. So we found incredibly high levels of plastics on the seafloor, and these were mostly microfibers. And these fibers that come from textiles, so when you wash your clothes, these fibers pass through wastewater treatment plants into rivers, they're flushed out to the sea, where they can sink to the bottom of the sea. But at least some microplastics could be avoided if manufacturers switch to the most unlikely of sources for an alternative, peas. Scientists at Zampler, a startup that's just had a significant investment by Sky Ocean Ventures, have found a way of taking plant protein and rearranging the molecules to produce a material strong enough to make tiny capsules. Traditionally, uh, microplastics are present in many consumer products and they are added to provide some functionality, such as encapsulating fragrance. Um, but these materials may take hundreds of years to degrade in the environment. So we have developed a novel material that is capable of providing that performance, but may only take um, a month to degrade in the environment. Enough microplastic to make 10 billion bottles a year in Europe alone is deliberately added to everyday items from detergents to paint, using biomaterials instead could help to reduce the scourge of plastic in the world's oceans. Thomas Moore, Sky News.